Listen, YouTube, when I tell you I changed this person's life, his whole life is different now. But before we get into that cut, I just want to show you guys something that I got in the mail, all right? Stay tuned. YouTube, listen up, listen up, YouTube. We got a package in the mail. Uh, I'm on live with WTBD right now. I'm on live with WTBD right now. D WTBD, say what's up. What's up? I was about to say, you guys are, you guys are, you guys are slow, man. Y'all got, you guys are procrastinating. Come on, man. <laughs> All right, all right, let me move, let me mute you guys. <laughs> all right, you guys, we are back in the building right now with another package, an unboxing of Babyliss, a uh, 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 skeleton effects influencer type of collab type of thing. All right, you guys don't care about that. Let's just open it up, get right into it. All right, I got it all open. Oh, snap. We got Frank the Barber in the building with the purple skeleton FX. Man, this is clean. Box is nice. Everything is clean. Purple. Let's open it up. Can you can you make it easier for the cut? Okay, thank you. All right. Okay, right here. Boom. The Babyliss Frank the Barber FX with the rubber though. You see the rubber on it? What? With the DL 2.0? The DLC 2.0? What? Sound test? Sound test? Shout out to Frank though. But enough about Frank. Let's move on here. <sighs> okay, we got Los Mother Loving Cut It in the building with his own blacked out with the with the red. Let's let's take a look at his. First of all, let's let's okay, we got the box. Okay, enough about the box. We don't care about the box. Let's just open this up. <sighs> okay, alright. We got Lowe's cut it's in the building, blacked out with red hint, super clean, with the rubber at the bottom, the Babyliss logo in red, the bottom in red, 2.0 blade, sound test, same as Frank's. This one right here looks nice, I'm gonna I'm be honest, but enough about Lowe's cut it. We got Patty Cuts in the building, oh my god! If you ask me what my favorite color is, it's green, okay? All I'm saying is if you ask me my favorite color, it's green, okay? Let's open this up. Ah! Ah! All right, all right, all right. We got it open. Man, that candy apple green color. I wish it had some type of hints, like red hints to it or something like that. That'd be hard. But nevertheless, sound test 2.0 blade. I don't know what these are gonna do. I don't know what these are gonna do. We're gonna test it out though. This whole video, my whole clients, from here on out, we're gonna test out the blade to see what they do. But hold on, there's more in the box. Oh my goodness. Okay, I already had these, I already had these, but appreciate Babylis for sending these over too as well. What are, what are these, like the chameleon? Yeah. yeah. Rainbow chameleon? Okay, all right. Rainbow 30. chameleon. You see these. Oh, it came with the box. I guess it kind of came out. It had the box. It, yeah. We got the clipper holder. Um, let me see. Let me not butcher this name. Let me see what the clipper sleeve. Okay. We got a yellow one. Okay. We got a yellow one. We got some rubber. Some rubber gripper clipper holders. Ugh, y'all should. Rubber glipper tripper hole. Come on. All right. Then we got the cape. We got a custom cape. Oh, this one's from Illusions. This one's from Illusion. Hold on. When you go to Illusions, make sure you get your uh, Jeezy discount, Jeezy 15, on all your Illusions capes. You see this one. All right, all right, what else we have in here? We have these uh, hair grippers, okay, hair grippers. You put them on the long hair, that way you don't need the, the, the barber clips. These, yeah. Then right here we have the barber mat. I don't know what it, oh, snap. Hold on, it's magnetic and it holds your clipper up right like this. I, 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 I gotta test it, I gotta test it, but I'm not gonna test it right now, but I'll show you guys a little bit later with it being in my station. But appreciate Babyliss for sending over this box, this influencer box with all the goodies in it. I wasn't expecting to get all of this stuff, just the clippers, but hey, I appreciate you guys for sending it over. Nevertheless, let's start our day. <sighs> let's go.
All right, so before you start cutting hair, what you wanna do, you wanna always pick out the hair or brush the hair in the direction that the hair goes in. Cause how you start is how you finish. And if you start off sloppy, chances are your blend or the haircut is gonna end sloppy. So make sure you comb the hair before you actually start cutting. So my client basically let me do what I want with this cut. He obviously wanted to keep the fro. So I went with like a burst fade type of taper on the sides. Um, I started off with my bald line using my Babla Skeleton FX and I'm doing it in a, like a rainbow like shape. Now using my Andis Cordless Masters with the one guard with the lever open, I'm basically going up and debulking. I'm just clearing out some areas to where I can set in my guideline a lot easier. Now I'm gonna freehand with the lever closed and just go straight up, basically getting that burst fade uh, shape that I want. Now it's time to set in some more guidelines using my lever open. I'm going up about a half inch. I'm not gonna take off too much uh, from the vertical bar. I'm going to leave that same rainbow like shape throughout the blend. And I know you guys are like, Jeezy, this isn't a burst fade. This is a blowout. Okay, oh, okay. Now putting back on the one guard with the lever open in the same shape that I set the lever open, I'm going up about a half inch and I'm keeping it consistent all the way around, scooping out because I don't wanna leave a harsh guideline at the top. Now I'm gonna go back with the lever closed and basically freehand the shape once again. Uh, before I was just inching it, now I'm developing that actual shape. Now with the zero guard in a flick out motion, flick out that middle line. It's that middle line between the lever open and the one guard open. Now with the lever closed, in a flick out motion, flick out that bottom line. Remember, use your corners as much as possible. You don't need to use the full blade. Uh, take your time. And if you need to adjust the lever as you go up, make sure you do so. All right, you guys, so detailing is key. Um, after you're done setting in your guidelines, taking out your guidelines, you want to do some detail work. You want to debulk areas where you see uh, imperfections. Uh, clean up those areas using different guards, uh, using your corners. Um, pretty much use whatever you need to take those lines out of the blend.
So now I'm gonna shape the afro with the lever closed. Remember the best way to shape an afro is start from the bottom to the top. Um, that gives you a perfect ratio um, when you're you know, adjusting your hand. When you're adjusting your arm, moving in that circular motion is better to start from the bottom to the top. If you start anywhere else, side to side, you're gonna mess up the angle in which you're trying to shape the uh, afro. So when it comes to the front line, how I prep it is I comb it down with the comb and then I grab my clippers, throw the one guard on with the lever closed and just knock down that front line. That way you could get a crispier line and that way you won't have any hair that's hanging over after you line it. And also I spray it with hairspray to lock everything down.
Listen, let me tell you why they call me 360 When they sit in my chair, spin them in the full 360 And they come out looking like You too, this is the cut And if you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button Also, Hustle Dreams Production, that's my brother He does all my beats His YouTube channel will be linked in the description below And for those that want me to curl sponge it Don't worry, I got you, alright If you want to know where you can find any tools That you send in this video Links will be in the description below. Also, you guys can follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. My Snapchat is Jeezy360 and my Instagram is 360Jeezy. But it's your boy 360Jeezy and I'm out of here.